Hello everyone, welcome to a new video of computer science. In this video, we will be starting with a chapter HTML, web designing with HTML. So we are going to learn about HTML, what it is and how, how it is to be used. Before that, I would like you to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up and share it with the content with your friends. So let's begin. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Hypertext Markup Language. So it's used for creating web pages and it defines the structure of web page, how it should look. And you have so many elements with HTML that describes the difference, difference in the web pages and its content and tells the browser how to display the content. Different text, field, forms, you can see images, all these things are written using the markup language. Uh, you can see HTML is used for that. So we have got elements to describe those things. So let's go to the chapter. you will be learning uh, about the components of your web pages and defining HTML then container elements and empty elements in HTML then creating web pages containing the formatted text so you have got so many options for that we will see one by one the version of HTML was written by Tim Berners-Lee Tim Berners Lee in the year 1993 HTML was written and this is used for designing the web pages websites and the first topic that is 24.1 is component of web pages so it's a website this is ISRO's website then comes Parliament of India's website you can see these are websites okay so it's been designed using HTML or HTML it can be used to design these websites so the web page consists of text hyperlinks forms images if you can see this picture the written part is known as text you can see here on the web page you can see some things are underlined okay so we call them as hyperlinks and this is a form where you can give your information to the system like your user id password all those things where you give we call it as a form and pictures used in the websites are known as images okay these are the components of your web pages so to have a look how a web page looks like um, let's check website where you can see some texts are written okay here you can search what you want to search if it is about html you can just type it here html so that information you can substitute here and you go to the next page so we call that as a website where you have got different tabs and all these are being designed maybe using html language okay so you have got all these things here so this can be done using this language hyperlink to know about hyperlink Consider this is an article and here if you go at this point you can see some words are being underlined 
and if we click on that it turns to another hand symbol and if you click on this it will go to another document see here you can open up a new document of this information okay so this is known as hyperlink this uh, statements wherever you can click and go to another document it is known as hyperlink okay next topic is what is html 24.2 so already we have seen what is html hypertext markup language that is the full form of html and it's a language okay it is used to create your web pages and how you do it let's see and whenever you are saving an html document with the extension name dot html you have to save that means consider um, i have created a document and i want it to be an html file so give the document name document one dot htm or html doc one dot html should be the name of that document and these are the tags how to create an html document we will be seeing through practical this is a tag okay this p is a tag call it as a tag and this is the attribute what kind of feature you want for this particular tag and what value you want to give an equal to should be given here this is the way how you write a tag and it has got a structure html has got a structure of writing a program and let's see how to create an html program and how to execute a basic a simple program of html so when you write a html it should be written inside this bracket so when the program starts put this word html inside this open and closing bracket and to end the program it is html this slash slash html that says it is end of the html code now you have got so many other tags to put inside this html like body tag is there and what you want to write you can put inside this then you have got head tag to write the heading then you have got other tags like b then hr br p and every tag need not need need not use a closing tag some need it some doesn't need them okay so we will see one by one how they are used so the step for creating html program is first write a basic html code in notepad then save it with dot html extension or dot htm so after doing that you can close the program and then use the web browser to open it using the web browser open it and you can see your html code okay now we can create a very basic html program for that you need some tags like so uh, let your program be like this html starting and ending of the program inside that you can use head to 
find the heading and then you can write title to mention the title and whatever you want to write you can write here then comes body starting and ending and whatever you want to put it as a content you can write here like if i need hello this is my first html code you can write like that and then execute it let's check how this works okay we can see, see do a practical of this one this is the program that i'm going to write so let's this is the html code that is being written now i'm going to save it with the name dot html extension Double click here page one you can see the code appearing here my first html code is being written here because of the html code that we have written okay this is the very basic html code how to write a basic html code okay so we have got so many different options to create web pages using this language okay if you see the html code is the name that you have given in the title that will be here appearing here and what you have given in the body section body slash body that will be appearing in your document okay next one is in text question 24.1 let's see the questions give examples of any two web browser the answer would be google chrome and or internet explorer many others are there you can choose any anyone or two what may be the content of a web page so already we have discussed this question the content of web pages can be text hyperlinks forms and images okay this one is google chrome internet explorer what are the two components of an html document so the html document can have a head and a body portion just now we have seen a program how head and body is used in the html code or document what is the extension of an html document extension of html document is dot html or dot htm next one is how do we assign a value to an attribute so we have seen this you have to write a tag then you have to write attribute put an equal to mark and write the value of the attribute whatever is the value close the tag next one is state whether the following are true or false so the first one is a web page contains many websites no this is false html is used to create web pages this is true a closing tag always starts with slash that is also true you can see this head if it is head to end this we use a slash head behavior of attributes may be changed by using the tags we cannot change that is false each tag in html has some attributes some tags have got attributes all the tags it's not necessary that it has to have an attribute so this is also false so by this index question 24.1 is also done hope you understood and if you have got doubts please do comment 
and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share the video